Hello everyone and welcome back to part 3 on how to make an attaching system series. Now in the past tutorial I've showed you guys how to make this so when you go ahead hold E, the egg will display, shake and then uh, display the egg the, that you just hatched. Now this is good and all but we still have to fix some things. But before we start I just want to let you guys know that I have Patreon so if you guys don't want to follow my tutorial series you can just uh, go here. For the $10 tier, you're going to have access to all of my tutorial files, including the simulator, egg system, everything. So yeah, let's start. So the first problem is that whenever you hatch an egg, uh, it will get a random pet from any egg. And we don't want that. So we will go on to egg module underscore server. And on the hatch egg function, before you choose a random uh, uh, egg, I mean pet, uh, I think it's in the egg underscore server. Yes, okay, so in here. So in here, when we choose the random pet, we just get a random pet from the entire folder, and we really don't want that. So here's what we're going to be doing. So instead of our pets folder, we're going to add a, another folder. And this is going to be named the exact same egg or the same name of each egg. So this is going to be the ice egg. So the folder will be named ice egg. Duplicate the folder, get the other egg, lava egg. So this one will be renamed to lava egg. And after doing that, we're going to get all of the uh, uh, pets that we want on the on the check so i'm going to want three in the ice egg and these on the lava egg after doing that what i want to do is make the bed display bigger so i'm just going to change the uh z motor by just two instead of uh three and here's what we're going to be doing we're going to enter our egg underscore server and we will get a random the we're gonna get the folder from educated storage so local uh, egg folder or local pet folder is equal to and uh game lord educated storage of pets on find first child and we're gonna get the egg dot name which is going to be egg dot name after doing that all we have to do is uh get the random pet so local random pet is equal to and pet folder com get children square brackets math dot random and we're gonna start from one to however many pets we have so hashtag pet folder com get children and after doing that we're gonna uh basically just Remove the other line of code, which was the old one, and the random pet on A. Now, if you go ahead and play the game, it should choose a random pet from our uh, pet egg. So, let's see. Nothing happens, which is because... Okay, so, it did choose the, the egg, but we do have a little problem, I think. I think it's because of the viewport frame. So I think we're going to change this back to 3. And maybe that will work. I'm really not sure. But we're going to try it again. And if it doesn't work, then that means that it won't work. So let's try it with the other egg. And nothing works. So we do have a little problem here. Oh, I know why. It's because... Pets can't find for child's pet name. Okay. So, here's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be sending the pet from the server. So, inside of our egg server script, we will get the random pet and clone it. Clone clone. After sending that, we're going to just send the actual random pet. And in our egg module client, in here, we're going to do local, we're going to do clone. And local pet is equal to clone. And that should be it. Or actually, uh, we don't need to clone it. 
so we're gonna go back to our x server and just remove this clone and then go back here and uh that's it so play the game right now and you should see that everything should be working perfectly so i'm gonna hash an egg and hopefully yes it hashed our egg so i'm just going to make the uh offset a bit smaller so two and play the game and see how that is so i'm just going to go for this side and it will hatch and as you can see it looks a bit better now if we go ahead and try it again it displays our pet which is great so now what we're going to be having to do is creating a value inside of the player when they hatch an egg so it will be easier for us to script the inventory so we're going to have a folder inside of the player and each time they hatch an egg we're going to create a value inside of the player so that is very simple to do all you have to do is go to our leader stat script and create or actually let's not do it on the leader stat script let's do it here so again the players the player added clone connect function and here's what we're going to be doing so we'll create do local uh pets is equal to instance dot new and we're going to create a folder and pets dot name is equal to pets and pets dot parent is equal to plr now if you go ahead and play the game you should see that we have a folder called pets uh, but we, we don't see any folder called pets which is pretty weird so oh okay that makes sense so here's what you're gonna want to do so because we are waiting for the x to be added so it's not detecting when the player just joined so but to fix that we're gonna loop through every single plr in the game in pairs uh players go and get players and we will call the player added function so i'm gonna change this into function local function uh function plr added and we're gonna get the player and we're gonna just copy this paste it here and remove this and we're gonna do a core time dot wrap and we'll just call the PR added function and we're gonna also send the player now if you go ahead and play the game it should work hopefully and as you can see we have a pets folder which is great so now we're gonna want to create a value inside of the player to represent that pet so I'm gonna do local val right here drop line do local val is equal to and instance dot new and we're gonna create a string value the val dot name is equal to uh random pet random pets dot name and val dot parent is equal to plr dot uh, dot pets now if you go ahead and play the game you should see that every time we hatch an egg it will create a value and rename it to the name of the pet you just hatched which is great so now you might want to spice up the animation a bit so we will just make this a bit smaller let me just change the background transparency of the viewport frame to zero uh and make it visible and we're gonna scale it down center it and i'm going to add a frame or a uh, image label and we will make it bigger and place it in the center of the screen but we're gonna want to convert it to scale by using the plugin and the link will be in the description and you're going to want to change the z index of the pet display to 2 so that it displays before the image label and I'm, I'm just going to change the background transparency or the border size pixel to 0 and now you're going to want to get a nice little image 
So I'm just going to take a random image. Or let's just get a image from here. So let's just look for a sun rays. And we're not going to be finding any good images, but I think this will do. So I'm just going to change the image to that. And that looks pretty decent. And we're going to change the background transparency to zero. Now we have a... Well, we have this. Which is pretty nice. And I think now it's centered. And we want this to spin. So I'm going to rename this to spinner. And I'm going to put it inside of the pad display. Or actually, let's just put it right there. And we will add a script to it. So add a local script to it. And or actually before you do that, make sure that this is invisible and that the background transparency is set to one. And I'm just going to center this thing. Actually, I, I really don't think this image works best. So I'm going to pull this back. I'm just going to change this to a nice color such as blue. And I'm going to add a UI corner to it to just make it look a bit better. 0 0.3, uh, 0 0.2, 0.0, and that looks pretty nice. I want this to spin, so we're going to add a local script to it. And we're going to get tween service, local tween service is equal to game, call and get service, tween, tween service. Now we're going to create our info, so local at tween info, or info is equal to tween info dot new and we're gonna give it a time of five comma enum uh enum dot easing uh style dot uh linear comma enum dot easing direction dot um out and we will just give it a number of uh Time it will repeat, which it will be minus one, which is basically infinite. And after that, we're gonna give it a bool reverse, which is going to be false, and this will be delay time, which is going to be zero. Now we're gonna do tween service service con create and script dot parent comma and info comma. And you're gonna want to do these weird brackets and rotation, and we're gonna set that to 360 and make sure add a call and play so that we play the tween. And if you go ahead and play the game right now, you should see that it's smoothly spinning, which is really nice. So I'm just going to make sure it's invisible, and we'll make it visible when this happens. So, uh, X G Y dot spinner dot visible is equal to true and a client dot viewport and let's go back to our egg module and scroll client and we're gonna do uh frame dot parent frame dot parent dot spinner dot visible is equal to false now if you go ahead and play the game and hatch an egg it should display our spinner and it looks pretty good but we do need to do something which is change this to an actual image because i think it looks really ugly right now not gonna lie so i'm just going to change the image to a let's just look for sun so we're gonna look for a sun image and I think we'll go with none of these. They all look really bad. So we don't have any good images. But anyways, uh, change this to your own image. I'm going to go with that one, I think. So just change the image to our image oh god this looks really bad okay so i'm just going to make this smaller 
and put it right here and make it something like red and make it invisible and play the game right now now you know what i'm going with this just make it a sun rays or a sunburst and it should look really clean when it's spinning i'm going to make it spin faster so let's just change this to three play the game see how this looks as play wait for it and it looks better and yeah i think we did make some pretty good progress right there next part will be the inventory scripting and making the rarities work and yeah i think uh i'll see you all in the next video bye